Hello. Oh, really? Thank you both so much. At last, everything on the list is done. I'm afraid I still have some final preparations to make, but I'll see you tomorrow. Then the party can begin. Padres, you're here! Hey, serious props to you both. This place looks amazing! Even better than I'd imagined! <laughs> <sighs> Everything looks perfect. We're ready for business. Traveler, Paimon, you have our thanks. Guys, guys, why so serious? That ain't rock and roll, man! Hey, look at that! My favorite melon's a fast learner! Also, I hear you're gonna be taking the stage tonight. Whoa, itching for a little competition, huh? Uh, Paimon was just joking! <sighs> Seriously, Dvorak? Unbelievable! Getting cold feet? Nah, don't blame ya. I am the reigning champion of the great sing-along, after all. Oh, you think so? Cause Paimon totally thinks so too. Then bring it on. Oh, Paimon's bringing it all right! Paimon's bringing it all the way home! Ha! Ah, we hit a complete dead end. Goro said he didn't know anything. Mamaru and the guys asked around the city, but... No luck there either. What if it really is in Tenshukaku? Is that why we can't find it? Oh, no, no! Don't go poking around Tenshukaku again! You'll give Kujo Sara a migraine! Couldn't agree more. If I bother her too much, I'll end up getting struck by lightning. So that's why this time, I kept my distance and just threw some paper notes towards Tenshukaku. Hopefully the Raiden Shogun sees them and hands the dog over. Wait, what? You're still taking a big risk there! It looks like Doshin Shikanoin was right. It's probably just a local legend after all. Well, let's hope not, because that would really suck. Wish I had more time to look into it, but unfortunately, this guy's got a performance to practice for. Now don't forget, there's lyrics and music scores in the jam zone, so no wussing out tonight! Don't get too cocky, Bullchucker. We'll see who's rock and roll. <laughs> Game on, Mini Melon! Oh, Paimon better get some practice in at the jam zone soon. No way is Paimon gonna lose to Ito! Oh, by the way, we invited a ton of people this time. Including some people you know. A few have already shown up and they're asking about you. Wanna go say hi? Cool, yeah! Let's go see them! Paimon's curious to find out who you invited. Oh, you're a real trooper, Yoimiya. This must be one of the furthest places you've ever delivered to. I promised Ito that I'd supply fireworks for his festival. I wasn't about to go back on my word. Hey, Toma, Yoimiya. Traveler, Paimon. Cool, you're here too. <laughs> well, looks like I owe the Arataki gang a huge thank you. If they weren't putting on this event... Who knows when I would have gotten to see you next? <laughs> you 
you hear that? In case it was too subtle for you, Toma is complaining that you guys never make time to come and visit your old pals. Oh, that's true. Obviously, traveling is very important to you, but you gotta take a break every once in a while. Just remember that you've got friends out there that would love nothing more than the chance to make you feel looked after. Of course! Oh, I heard this really cool thing I gotta share with you guys! So, Ito says that the theme of his music festival comes from a story about a dog that saved animals in the war zone. How amazing is that? What do you know about this dog, Toma? Everyone knows how well connected you are. <laughs> For once, not much, I'm afraid. I guess my connections are one key canine short. But assuming this really happened, I feel like Watatsumi Island would have had to be involved. This is a dog who managed to sneak in and out of a war zone, repeatedly, without leaving a trail for anyone to follow. Whatever the case, it would have needed someone to help cover its tracks. As far as I know, the Shogun's army doesn't do that kind of thing. So you're saying it was the Sanganomiya troops? They had a specially trained dog for rescuing critters from the battlefield? Sounds kind of far-fetched if you ask me. Do we really think Sanganomiya's forces had enough manpower to fight a full-scale war and run a, 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 what, a canine wildlife rescue operation on the side? Okay, well if it wasn't Sanganomiya's side, it must have been the Shogunate! Right, so in my view, it's more likely that Mr. Dvorak simply made the story up as something to capture people's imaginations. I mean, he's an artist, right? Isn't rock music about expressing things we don't fully understand? Kind of like fireworks in a way. Uh, don't question it, just feel it. Hmm. Yeah, that sort of makes sense. That makes you an artist too, Yoimiya! Fireworks are your art. <laughs> I'll take it. And on that note, boy do I have an art show for you tonight. Make sure you don't miss it. Hey, there you are. I sent you some letters a few days ago. Have they shown up yet? Ooh, does this mean you figured it out? I've made some progress, but I'm still missing the final piece of the puzzle. I don't have anything conclusive yet, but I have a hunch that it involved both the Yashiro Commission and Sanganamiya. What? You mean like in cahoots during the war? Shh. Like I said, it's just a hunch. Let's not get carried away. Anyway, I've written to the station, and they shouldn't take too long to get back to me. Yuriki Iwata should be able to help find what I need. In the meantime, you'll just have to be patient. I would have gone back to the station to look into it myself, but I knew Ito was performing tonight, and I didn't want to miss it. Oh, wow! Sounds like I'm in for a real treat. I definitely picked the right place to be tonight. Will the Traveler's long-serving voice finally graduate from speech to song in a triumphant victory over the Oni Rocker of Hana Mizaka? <laughs> I'll be awaiting with bated breath. Cut it out, both of you! No more stupid nicknames! This Miss Hina looks very familiar. Even the outfit. Ah, I was thinking the same thing, Your Excellency, but I just can't put my finger on it. She really is the spitting image. Of who? Goro, Kokumi, hey! Oh, hello, you two. It's been a while. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you again. I was just asking Shinobu if she knew where you were. This is a nice surprise. Paimon didn't expect to run into you two at an Arataki Gang music festival. Oh, I barely did anything. A reader for my That's Life column was asking for advice about it, so I figured I'd help out. Turned out the reader in question was Mr. Arataki Ito. 
Her Excellency was also very supportive of the whole thing. Mm. An international rock and roll music festival sounded like a good way to attract tourists. And it's to bring attention to the plight of living things, right? Seems like a meaningful cause. Yeah, apparently it has something to do with a dog that was a war hero? Although sadly probably not a true story. Have either of you heard anything about that? Oh, you know, bits and pieces. Nothing concrete. Hmm, yeah, no, me neither. Hmm, those sounded suspiciously like prepared answers. <laughs> Probably because we've answered that question before. Mr. Arataki Ito came to ask us about it a while back. We'd certainly love to help if we can. Yes, of course. Um, <clears throat> actually, I was hoping to ask for your opinion on something. Does Miss Hina look familiar to you at all? I have this strange feeling like I've seen her somewhere before. Oh! Um... But you don't remember where? Ah, she probably just looks similar to someone you know. Like how the Traveler looks similar to his sister. There's no mystery here, don't overthink it. Ah, I see. Well, that does make sense. Traveler, let's get out of here. Paimon didn't realize so many people we know would be here. Better get practicing or tonight could be super embarrassing. Come on, let's head to the jam zone! Hey, Mr. Dvorak, you're still here! Sure am. I've been checking over the equipment, scores, and lyric sheets to make sure everything's ready for tonight. Shinobu was telling me how popular light novels are here in Inazuma, so I've tweaked the melody and lyrics for a more Arataki gang feel with a light novel twist. Light novels plus rock music? So... Light Rock! <laughs> I actually didn't change too much. Just took out the dog and made it about Onikabuto instead. Should be more up Ito's alley. This event couldn't have happened without him. It's my way of showing him some appreciation, I guess. What? You got rid of the dog? But wasn't that the whole inspiration behind the festival? Yes, but that's all it was, the initial inspiration. Doesn't matter if we change it to an Onikabuto, or you, or me, or anything else. It's the spirit of it that counts. Spirit? What do you mean? Um, the spirit of rock and roll? Okay, should have seen that coming. <laughs> it's all about the music, my friends. Just enjoy the music. That's all that matters. Ah, fair enough. All right, well, speaking of enjoying music, is it all right if Paimon goes first? Paimon's got to get practicing or Bullchucker's going to hog the spotlight tonight. By all means, be my guest. I knew you'd come around to the idea of going on stage. Here's the music score and lyrics. I can't wait to see this. Ooh, let's see now. What's this song called? I got reincarnated as an Onikabuto and flipped the world upside down? What sort of song title is that? Is this supposed to be rock and roll? Soft rock, actually. No! No peeking! You can hear them tonight when Paimon sings the song. Paimon's gonna rock so hard, Bullchucker won't know what hit him. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight is a night to celebrate, and I trust you're all having a wonderful time. 
It's been a non-stop rock and roll ride this evening, and we're almost at the end. But first, it is my huge honor to invite two very special guests to the stage. The illustrious Mr. Arataki Ito and Miss Paimon. The two of them will be performing a brand new song written specially for tonight's event. It's called... I got reincarnated as an Onikabuto and flipped the world upside down. Take it away! Shifted into dark. I ease a beef here by bequeath a my mora. Two hundred goes to my pa. Three hundred to dear mama. Get reborn as a beta next time. Only cover to raise your heart. Give to a world beyond the storm. A rosy skies. So that's rock music, huh? It's a little different than I imagined. Really? It's different from what I'd heard before. Could be a relatively new genre of rock, I suppose. So, how'd you like my performance? Did I dominate this little melon here or what? <laughs> okay, Bullchugger, you got owned and you know it! Oh, stop it, you two. I think both of you are sensational. Here, here. <laughs> really mind-blowing stuff, guys. I call it a draw. You're very evenly matched. Aw, uh, you think? Okay, well, uh, what about you, my compadre? Who do you think is the most rock and roll? Hey, don't try to change the subject. <laughs> Let's not argue anymore, shall we? Ito and Paimon, you both gave incredibly moving performances. I owe you all an enormous debt of gratitude. Without your help, this music festival never would have happened. <laughs> Don't mention it, Jack Attack. Hey, if we hadn't met, I wouldn't even know what the spirit of rock and roll means. The spirit of rock and roll? So what does it mean? What does it mean for rock music to have a spirit? It means you rock up, rock out, roll the dice, and roll with the punches. Just like me and Paimon. Yeah, that's obviously not what it means. Mr. Dvorak, could you please give us the official definition? Someone needs to take this guy down a peg. <laughs> <laughs> an, an official definition? I don't know that one exists. It's an emotional experience. As though you're hearing your own story speak to you through the music. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking that the spirit of rock and roll is, uh, well, like the Onikabuto in the song. Having the courage to grab life by the horns and survive against all the odds. Guess I have a better sense of rock and roll than I thought. <laughs> what about you, Yoimiya? Oh, well, I thought it was gonna be all about that dog, but then the song didn't even mention it, so, uh... 
Was that supposed to be symbolic? Like, if the dog didn't exist, maybe the injured animals didn't either. If there was no injured animals, then that means there was no war. Which means the world is at peace. Oh, so for Yoimiya, the rock and roll spirit is all about world peace. Me? Uh, I hadn't given it all that much thought. I was mostly worrying about whether those paper notes Boss threw into Tenshukaku are going to get him in trouble with the Tenryo Commission. <laughs> that must mean that for Shinobu, the rock and roll spirit is about keeping the Arataki gang safe. Shinobu, seriously, you've got nothing to worry about. If the Raiden Jogan had seen any of those notes, she'd have come to join the party. Paimon agrees that you don't need to worry. Would have arrested Ido by now. <laughs> Wait, where is that guy anyway? And where did Kokumi and Goro go? Oh, Doshin Shikanoin had to run back to the station, so he didn't get the chance to say goodbye to you guys. But he did leave something for you. It's over there. As for the other two, they couldn't stick around because they had a government meeting to get to. They did ask me to pass on their regards, though. The fact that these busy people all made time to attend the party is telling. Clearly, Ito wasn't exaggerating about the stature of the Arataki gang. Ito, what can I say? It's truly been an honor to work with you. <laughs> well, Jack Attack, I can't take all the credit. Let's not forget the Traveler's part in all this. A lot of people showed up because they knew he'd be here. If we do this again, we gotta make sure we find a way to get him on stage. How's that sound, compadre? Get that rock and roll spirit ready, cause next time it'll be your turn to rock our collective socks off! Uh, your Excellency, I believe the Ten Real Commission detective is- Don't worry about it, Goro. The Puppy Union was a joint venture between us and the Yashiro Commission. If we can maintain secrecy, then all the better for it. But that was never the main goal. We saved some lives, and that's what matters. I was more worried about the potential impact on your reputation, Your Excellency. After all, some of the lives we saved belong to the Shogunate. If someone with an agenda finds out, it could cause an uproar. Don't worry. There might be a way to make it work out in our favor. Really? How? Times have changed. We and Narukami Island are supposed to be working together now. So it's not necessarily a bad thing if people discover that we were already cooperating with the Yashiro Commission even during the war. Hmm. I see. Goro, if you want my opinion, you should be more concerned about Miss Hina than you are about this. Miss Hina? What makes you say that? I hear she works for a That's Life magazine as well. She's young, popular, pretty. And she seems to be just as good at offering comfort to people in need as you are. So it looks like you have some competition. <clears throat> Understood, Your Excellency. I will work hard to stay ahead of the competition. I learned something new today. I never knew that the Hydro Nation's rock music had the power to stir up lightning. Miko, a few days ago, some strange paper notes flew into Tenshukaku, demanding that I hand over the dog. So I am here to see what on earth it was all about. <laughs> I just assumed you must have gotten yourself a pet puppy. As it happens, I also received an invitation letter via Sara. I've never heard the name Arataki before. But they must be one of my subjects, and so I thought, why not grant them their wish? Ah, so you came here to make a little Oni's wish come true, hmm? So tell me, how do you plan to respond to the Fontanian musician? 
It sounded to me like his music was commenting on the war. The war... I'm not sure we can give him the answer he would hope for. But if nothing else, I know that we must avoid another war at all costs. The people cannot be made to suffer like that again. Hmm... But what if the bigger war comes to pass? What then? If it cannot be avoided, then... I will have no choice but to fight. Hmm. Well, if that day comes... I'm sure that everyone here tonight will fight by your side. Overruled. 